Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to Makoko Seafood Market for the first time. I haven't been there in like more than 10 years. The time I used to go there is when my mom used to take us there. But now I'm going there as a matured adult. So, my sister is waiting for me outside and the best thing for you to do when going to buy seafood is to carry a bucket because you don't want it to soil your car or your seats so always take a bucket so that you put your seafood there so let's go and check out that makoko market we've been hearing about okay let's go i don't know why fast food here fast food This is a booker now. so this market is just like any other market you can just walk into but the major in seafood a lot as you can see they had other things they sell here like vegetables pepper plastic plates semu and so on and so forth so my first stop was with this guy here and i asked for a kilo of seafood or prawns and his own was 4500 naira and i asked him to wait for us let's see the quantity so we can know how much it is and this was him weighing the um, prawns for us it was a lot i was surprised because in law school market this thing will go for at least six thousand naira this size i mean so for me to see this uh, uh, being this much i was a little bit shocked but happy so this is the first stop where we were and i just priced it to kind of have an idea of what the um size and price was around the market so i told him we're going to come back if it's the same price so for the analysis of our bargaining uh, this woman had a lot of sizes even more than the first one we stopped by she had cheaper ones there was one that was going for two thousand 3,000, 3,500 naira. And this one right in my front that had the biggest size was 6,000 naira. The one next to it on the right in a green bowl here was um, 5,5, 5,500 naira. But the one I ended up buying was um, 3,500 naira. The size was not too big, not too small, very perfect for food. And one thing about seafood is that if it's too big, you might not enjoy it for a particular meal you are making. And this was the one I was going to use to make my sauce. So it was just perfect for me. And the price also was perfect. If I were to buy this in your school market, I think this would be going for like 5,000 Naira or like 4,500 Naira. But I'm very sure this is way cheaper than your school. Yeah, you're 
The size my sister got was the next size that was smaller to mine and it was 3,000 naira. Honestly, later on I I was thinking why did I why didn't I get this size because honestly there was almost no difference between it although there was a difference but there was almost no difference and hers was a lot more and way cheaper not way cheaper but 500 naira difference but I guess we had to settle for what we had so here you have to pay for cleaning unlike law school where you do not have to pay for cleaning and this was a girl who cleaned our uh, um, prawns and cleaning was 200 naira if you want to buy salmon fish hold cash okay hold plenty cash so this big one that was pricing here went for thirty five thousand naira and that was just the asking price i hadn't bargained or priced it at all but i would like to say that if you want to price fish here this is five thousand naira divided by two so what you get is i think fifteen thousand like seventeen thousand thereabouts so that should be the amount you should be pricing it from there you can know if you increase your price or you reduce your price i told her to bring a smaller one that that one was too big and then she brought this two and called this one she was holding fifteen thousand naira. guess how much i priced it to hmm. if i guess i priced this thing to six thousand naira and she told me to pay and imagine what I did, unfortunately. I didn't have cash. <laughs> See, eh, till this very day, I'm thinking about this fish and the fact that I let it go. A whole simple 6,000 naira salmon fish went just like that. I'm in tears. Hot tears. I'm in pains. Severe pains. So, perhaps I'll go back there someday because this is going to be my base right now. I'm going to be buying my salmon fish here and my seafood from this place. I mean, <laughs> to lose to law school. So we went back to that first guy who we stopped at his place first to get the jumbo prawns. We ended up buying this big one for 5,000 naira, one kilo. My sister and I shared one kilo and everything inside the basket was just to, um, 16 pieces. Sorry, it was 16 pieces. So we had eight pieces each this i'm going to use it to do like um, jumbo prawns like the crispy one in butter that's what i'm going to use this one for also the mistake we made was that we bought our prawns from different places so we had to pay for cleaning two times so if you had bought everything we we're going to buy in one place we will um, pay for cleaning once so as you can see this was the um lady or the girl who cleaned our um, prawns for us 200 naira so we ended up spending another 200 naira so if you want to buy your prawns or anything you're buying just make sure you buy them in one place so that one person will clean it for you and you can just pay 200 naira once i think that makes sense so this is the size of the jumbo prawns we got this wasn't the biggest one but it was big enough for what we wanted to use it for So when they are cleaning your prawns for you, always make sure they devein it for you. That's when they like open the center and clean the inside like she's doing now and remove the veins inside because that's like the intestine. And sometimes it's always sandy and really dirty. Your food can end up being sandy. So make sure they devein your prawns, your shrimps for you. So my sister and I shared this one like i explained earlier and that was the end of our bye bye in the seafood market i have a better analysis and take on all the three seafood markets i've been to towards the end of the video so stay tuned Thank 
Kabi. So I also took a walk around the other side of the market just to see what's there and it's just butchers that they, they sell meat, shaki, beef and like I said it's just like a regular market just that they major in so many seafood and look at how we put the seafood in the bucket because if this thing drips in your car and, hmm, you will wash your car hundred times so we ended up paying for parking also this guy said we should give him 500 naira in this lagos hmm. we gave him 200 naira sha because we two were all stooling and we made our way back home so this place is very very good very perfect for me i mean it doesn't take me long to get here make sure you look for aji Ashe Jerry Market, when you come here, that's where you get all the things you got here in Makoko. So, the name of the market is Ashe Jerry Market. And this place to my house is just like 20, 25 minutes or 30 minutes. It's not even up to 30 minutes. But trust me, me, I went a bike and it's going to be like 10 minutes to this place. So, yeah, this is going to be my new base. So, watch out for the proper analysis. Hey, so I'm back home now and I just want to show you guys what I bought but I'm first of all going to give my opinion on the best seafood market in this Lagos because I've been to quite a few about four or five of them I've been to a lot of seafood markets and the best seafood market in this Nigeria sorry in Lagos is Makoko because it is cheap but they don't have varieties like um, law school i mean in law school they have so many things there they have calamari squid octopus lobsters and so many things i've never seen before in my life but here they had a lot of shrimps prawns they also had squid and a lot of variety of fishes but in terms of price makoko is the best so let me quickly show you guys all the things i got I have some um, seafood here in my freezer, so I didn't really go too mad with um, the prawns and shrimps I got from um, Makoko. So let me show you guys. So this is everything I got. All this is um, 6,000 naira. This is 6,000 naira fish, uh, abi, seafood, prawns, whatever. And then they put ice inside for me too. So this is the biggest one that I got. This one is for special people, like for my mommy, myself, on my birthday. Like, all this is for my birthday. Don't forget to check out my birthday vlog also. I'm going to put that in the um, description box. So I can't do this with one hand. I might have to drop my camera. Okay, I've opened it. So this is the biggest one I got. This is half a kilo. And half a kilo was um, two five. My sister and I shared this one, so a kilo was five thousand naira. Even though we priced it like pepe, so this is huge. And I have about eight pieces here, eight pieces here. Like when we're sharing it, we counted it. And this is the one I got. This one is going to be in my rice, in my seafood, um, spaghetti. So this one is quite large. This one I got this one a kilo for three five. And if this were to be law school, mm, I'll buy this one. Yeah, I'll buy a kilo for about five thousand naira. And I don't blame them because they're in VI. You know, people pay that kind of price for seafood. So see the difference between this big one here and this small one. Me, I prefer this small one, sure. But this one, I'm just going to give for special people. If I were to buy this one in law school, this big one here in law school, a kilo of this one would have been like 8,000. And I'll end up buying half a kilo for 4,000 naira. And I got a half a kilo of this big one for 2,500 naira. And I'm not joking. So, money-wise, Makoko is the best place to buy your shrimps and your seafood. But if you're looking for variety, go to law school on that bridge and if you haven't seen that video i'm going to leave it up in the card right here for you to check it out so see why i told you that you should always carry a bucket this thing is going to drip and if it drips into your car your car is going to smell forever forever and ever so always carry a bucket when you're going to buy seafood fish all those type of things
So I didn't end up buying that salmon because I didn't really have cash on me and they couldn't take transfer. Also, I didn't really need the salmon. If I actually needed it, I would have gotten it. But next time I get salmon, I'll definitely show you guys what it looks like. But don't let them buy you, okay? Because she called that fish for me, 15,000 naira. Mm? And I priced it to 6k and she agreed. So if you go there, shine your heart. Shine your heart. Don't let them buy you. You are in Lagos. Price it very well. Let me tell you people how to price it. If they call you something for you and you don't know how to price it, you don't have any idea of what the price may be, cut it into half. They will only insult you. That's the worst they'll do. After insulting you, they'll tell you if they'll, if they'll sell it to you or not. So if you cut it into half, eh, call that half price, they will agree. You, if, if possible, sell. Go below that half. So... That's the end of my vlog. I've got in my seafood birthday, whatever. My birthday is going to be a seafood pot. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. And if you haven't checked out my videos, I mean, I've been to um, Ekwe Seafood Market, Oluwo. I've been to Law School Seafood Market. And this is Makoko Seafood Market. I'm going to leave all those in the description box so that you can check out those videos and compare and contrast which seafood market you like the most. So my own review was that for varieties, go to Law School. For money-wise, if you want something cheap, go to Makoko. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one you're about to click on. Don't leave. <laughs> Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Bye.